Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna review the Yarbo Snowblower, and I am really excited about this, guys, because I'll be honest, I'm starting to get lazy here. I've got a really large driveway, as you can see here. I mean, it just goes on and on, and to be honest with you, I'm just tired of shoveling it, and we get so much snow here in the Midwest, I thought a great option would be to get a robotic snowblower and Yarbo has a fantastic one and I was at CES not too long ago and I was reviewing their Yarbo lawnmower and now they added the snowblower attachment to it so I am really excited to try it in today's video so if you're looking for something like this you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to this video let me just show you what it comes with when you order it so this is just the snowblower setup you can also add the lawnmower to this you can add a leaf blower to this it's all on their website and i'll link this product and their entire website with all their products available with this core unit in the description section of this video so really quickly just to let you know this unit right here is the main core so this is the robot itself so uh, this is the meat and bones of everything. This is the brains of everything, okay? Here you've got your battery. So the battery ships separately. Here you've got the docking station. Here is the snowblower attachment. So if you weren't going to be using it as a snowblower, you would get maybe the lawnmower attachment. If you weren't using that, you can get the leaf blower attachment. And you can, it's kind of like a transformer. It's pretty cool. That is the snowblower attachment. And right here is the smart assist module. I'm going to go over this a little bit in today's video too, because that is really cool. This whole setup is what you get when you order the snowblower from Yarbo. I'm excited. I don't want to waste any time. I'm going to unbox it for you. I'll show you what it looks like when you first get it. Then I'm going to do a really quick setup. We're going to test out the perimeter and we're going to literally wait for snow because it's coming. It looks like a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. It's sunny today. But you know, in the Midwest, it can change on a dime and we're expecting massive snow. In fact, I can feel the wind coming in right now um, from the north. So it's going to be snowing and it's gonna drop about 20 degrees overnight. So I need to get this ready quick. So let's unbox it right now. So I opened them up, all the boxes, all the straps are off there. I cut the boxes. Now let's see what's inside because I think that is the most important thing. When you're looking to purchase something, what is the setup going to be like and how organized are they? And that's what we're going to find out right now. The reveal. There we go, guys. That is the main unit right there. And the cool thing about that, guys, is that you can actually drive this right out of here which is great and we're going to do that all right let's check this one out here this is the snow blower module right off the top you see that there is two manuals right here let me give you a close-up look of how they have this organized as well so here we are as promised we got snow the weathermen were right this is a ton of snow in fact we've got about a six inches eight inches maybe right here and we're expecting about a foot so this is going to be a really great test for the Yarbo snow blower now I mentioned this in the beginning but this is not just a snow blower but you can get the attachments to put a mower on here a leaf blower on here and they even have a spreader for seeding your lawn as well available very soon and I was at CES and I was able to see their full lineup of products from Yarbo. Fantastic little setup here, and I am really excited to get going with this. Let me just really quickly show you what I have here to set up still. So I've got your base right here. Now this is what it's going to go to and charge itself. So I'm gonna have that plugged in right here at the house. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to outline the entire driveway um, so that it automates, so it does it for you. You don't have to control it with just the controller or your phone or walk around. You could be inside and set a timer for it and it will just go. It works in day and it works at night. So what I have here, this is the RTK. This is what is going to communicate with both the satellite and with the Yarbo to determine its area so that it stays within that area and doesn't just take off on you. So I'm gonna set this up. It does come with some poles. You can also set it up to your house if you want in your roof, if you have too many trees or anything. As you can see, I've got a real big open field behind me. So this will be a great test for this. I'll just go ahead and just pop that right in there on the corner over here. 
and it should have a really good signal to the sky, which will communicate with this. Now this is a little controller. It kind of looks like an Xbox controller or um, play, more, actually more like a PlayStation 5 controller right here. And what this does is this allows me to drive this around onto the pattern. Now, you can use the controller to control it or you can use the app on your phone. I highly suggest you get the app right off the bat and use that to set everything up because once it's set on your app, and that's how you can you connect it to be able to do all those schedulings and all that stuff and you can see it's you know how much battery life is on it all that stuff can be done with the app so it's important that you have that set up to really take full advantage of the Yarbo so let me just really quickly show you some of the features of this so I got the package that has the snow blower here um, which will suck everything in and it will go out here now you can direct this where you want if you want it to go to the right as you can see I'm moving it to the right or if you want it to go straight ahead or behind you, wherever you want it to shoot the snow, you can do that. You can also raise and lower this as well um, if you want it to not throw as far. I like to throw far so I have it up all the way, but if I wanted to shoot it this way, I would just go this way. And then to start it, if you're using the controller, it's gonna be different in the app. You just hold these two buttons down here, the two bottom buttons, and all this is in the instructions, so I'm not gonna get too much into it, but this will just start the unit up right here. And as you can see, it just kicks the snow. Um, to, to get it to go with this controller, there's a safety button right here. It's the RB button. And you just hold that down for a second, and then you can move it. Um, and it goes really fast. There's actually different speed settings on here. Um, and again, all this is going to be in your instructions, so I'm not going to get too far into it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and set up the app, plug this in, go ahead and put the... Uh, RTK satellite communication. This should all take about 30 minutes or so. Once I get it all set up, we'll go ahead and just take it down the driveway. We'll see what it does. Guys, this thing, I've already tested once. Absolutely love it. I test it with the controller. Now I'm going to do it with the app. Take full advantage of this whole thing. Um, let me give you some close-up looks of this all set up. It's going to be covered in snow because you can tell we got a lot of it, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy it. All right, so as you can see that the snowblower is actually in the up position, you can actually lower it down. And that's where you want it to be when you're actually picking up the snow. So as you can see, it's all the way down. So I'll start the snow blower up. And then I'll start moving forward. And as you can see, it is kicking that snow up quite a bit. This is a great unit, guys. This is a great way to clean up your driveway really fast. So let's go ahead and do the perimeter and let it do its job by itself. We're going to clear up this driveway so that it is safe for delivery drivers and for the family. All right, so here we are. I did one pass, so I went ahead and programmed the area. I let it go one pass, just one pass. And as you can see, it's snowing so much right now that it's really hard to stay on top of it. But that's the nice thing about this, is it's recharging right now, and it's gonna go ahead and just continue doing it for me. So I don't have to come out here all the time, and all night long it will continue to, to go ahead and blow this snow off. Now there is, because we had a little bit of rain which turned into snow, there is an ice layer on here right below this snow, so it doesn't go right to the driveway, unfortunately, but that's what the plow will help with as well. So as long as we can keep the snow off of it, we'll use the plow, we'll push it out of the way, and eventually it does all the work for you. I wish I would have stayed a little bit ahead of it, but it was a great opportunity to meet the people over at Yarbo so that I was more prepared for this video. Now, I am going to do more videos for them on the lawnmower. I'm gonna be doing more videos for them on the leaf blower and eventually the spreader as well. So there's gonna be some Yarbo videos on this channel, so make sure you do subscribe to us. But I am super happy with the results of this. As you can see, it works really good. Uh, the setup process was pretty easy. One thing I didn't mention is I did change out the tracks for the snow. So there is two sets of tracks. The ones that come with it on the core unit are basically for lawn mowing, things like that, regular um, gardening, spreading, all that, leaf blowing. But when you get on the ice and you've got some slippery surfaces, 
it was skidding out. So of course I switched them out really quick. It does come with that with the set. So it does have thicker tracks. Definitely gonna wanna do that. Didn't take much, just loosen some screws, pull them off, put the new ones on. It was a really easy setup. The whole process for setup for this took about an hour, but once you set it up, it's automated. And that's what I love about it. Uh, if you want to see the full setup of this and the final results, I'll put the final results at the end of this video so you can kind of see how the driveway looks after a few pass once the snow finally stops coming down, which if it ever does. Uh, but if you want to see the full end review, stay to the end of this video. And if you want to see the full setup, we did that video as well um, on a separate video. So make sure you do subscribe again and turn on notifications so you're notified when I do post that full setup video for this Yarbo. There is some tricky little setups. You definitely have to read the manual or just watch one of my videos, which is why I do these videos. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Yarbo Snowblower. I give it a thumbs up. Thanks again, everybody. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did do us a favor, just hit that thumbs up right down below this video. Share this video with those that you think would like this as well. And don't forget to subscribe. We have tons of videos on this channel just like this, so make sure you check those out as well. Thanks again, everybody.